Good morning, good morning, everyone. Um, I'm back, day two of my Facebook Live challenge. Um, here to educate you about all things health, nutrition, chiropractic. Sorry, here's my puppy. Um, so yesterday, I was so encouraged and excited. Um, I had a lot of you guys reach out to me about topics that you would like to learn about. Um, clearly, you guys were all very excited about the athlete discussion. Um, so I know I added on to my list. We're going to talk about Glenn and his ankle strain and what we're doing to help heal him as quickly as possible. But then um, somebody reached out about like um, recovery uh, foods after um, exercise, uh, like going to a practice or a game, for example. Um, somebody also uh, asked me about growing pains, which is a common thing that we talk about in the office. I mean, I feel like everybody knows chiropractors deal with headaches, low back pain. Um, oh, another one somebody asked about is asthma, which I love that topic because... Um, I'll have to tell you, um, my asthma is actually what got me into chiropractic. So um, that one's kind of near and dear to my heart. So those are some of the topics that I have planned coming up. But like I said yesterday, comment below. Um, tell me that you're here. Oh, Rochelle, good to see you. Um, say hi. Uh, Tell me what uh, health questions you have, whether, like I said, is it chiropractic, is it nutrition, exercise, um, I do a lot of things with essential oils, um, and, you know, if I don't know, I'll research it for you, right? Um, so today we're going to talk about, I'm just going to talk about um, chiropractic and ankle sprains or strains. So like I said yesterday, um, my son, my 13 year old fell, uh, like at the end of a cross country race on Thursday and he, um, hurt his ankle. So specifically, um, I have one of Molly's cute little care bears. So typically when you sprain an ankle, we're going, you roll your ankle in or out. The typical way to do it is for you to roll, like your foot rolls in, and so we hurt the outside portion of our ankle, right? So there's a couple of kind of like gold standard things that you have to be able to do before you go back into exercise. So Glenn has to be able to walk on his toes. So, you know, if we're walking on our toes or walk on his heels like this, depending on how you injure. Um, hi, Morgan. Good to see you this morning. Um, but depending on how you injure your ankle will depend on which Typically, one's okay and one's not. So Glenn cannot put any weight on his uh, on his heel. So he cannot heel walk, and he can't go back to soccer or cross country um, until that's our 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 minimum, right? So what happens when? So if if you look at my little Care Bear, so if Glenn steps in a hole and rolls his ankle in, I'm going to exaggerate this. So everything over here gets stressed, and then on this side, everything gets crumpled together, right? And so we have a ton of bones in our feet, and all the bones go this way, and the ligament laxity is over on this side. So why would you adjust an ankle sprain? Well, hi Lori, good to see you again this morning. Um... So when I need Glenn's foot functioning and moving at its optimal potential in order for us to get lymphatic drainage going, for, um, for him to get that swelling out of there, and that's all going to reduce pain, right? So first and foremost, when there is an injury like this, we had to take x-rays. We're not going to adjust anything that is possibly broken, right? So we took him to the orthopedic, made sure everything was fine, 
Great. Okay. We know nothing's broken. We know this is a chiropractic case. There's, there's, there's things that we can, we can work with. Oh, my uncle Marty is on here. Hey Marty, how are you? Love to see you this morning. Okay. So once I found out his foot was not fractured, I want to get my feet on it because I want to get all of those bones in the foot moving exactly the way God designed it, right? And that's going to get him the best healing ability because you only get nutrients into a joint when there's motion, right? So think about um, arthritic people um, that, you know, maybe it's in their hands, it's in their back, maybe it's in their feet or whatever, but they don't have as much motion in their joints. And so their joints just start to deteriorate more and more over time. So Glenn's ankle, we need to get it moving, but we need to get it moving in the proper way, right? Because this side is, has too much movement and this side doesn't have enough movement. Make sense? Okay. So that's why we adjusted it. Now, that adjustment hurt, right? And so um, Glenn was not feeling super awesome. He's bummed because he knows that he's going to have to miss out a little bit. And I just said to him, dude, it's going to hurt. And it's just for a couple of seconds. And, um, and, and then he said it was okay. So... Um, my next thing is, so first and foremost, I was trying to think about like, if I only did two things, what would they be? One, chiropractic adjustment all day long. That's obviously usually my go-to. The second thing is because the orthopedic told us Glenn will be out for like one to six weeks. Well, that's, that's a really big range, right? And um, quite honestly, Glenn wanted to be out for about four days. And so I said, oh, oh buddy, like we got to throw the book at this if you, I mean, one, that's not possible. Um, but I, I appreciate his desire to go forward, right? And so um, my number two, thing is when he told me like I'm going to be back in four days I said you better stick your foot in a bucket full of ice and get that inflammation down so um, I am a huge fan of ice baths especially for anything that has to do with the hands and feet there's a lot of ligaments, there's a lot of tendons, there's just a lot of things going on in our hands and feet. And when you do an ice bath, so if you don't know, you, like Glenn's got like, I don't know, size 10 feet or something. So I had to like, I actually found like one of our gardening buckets and I put water in it and I put ice and um, you let it sit for about 10 minutes so it gets nice and cold. And then I had him stick his foot in the bucket until his foot goes numb. Now, initially, it's going to feel cold, then it's going to burn, and then it's going to ache, and then it's going to go numb. It's after it goes numb, then then you can take it out. So, um, you know, it that could take six minutes, it could take 12 minutes, it just, it just kind of depends. And so, um, he sticks his foot in the bucket until it, like, deep enough so that I want two inches above his uh, like injury site or, or pain site, right? So we're, we're covering the whole area. But when you do an ice bath, you have, you have ice from below, you have it from above, you have it from the sides. So we're getting deep into that joint as best we can. So I really like ice baths because for the hands and the feet, we can cover the whole area. Um, so those are two of the things that we're doing um, for Glenn right now to get him back to soccer and cross country as quickly as possible. We're also doing um, supplements and essential oils. So tomorrow, I don't want to give you guys too much information all at once, and I want to keep these relatively short. So tomorrow I'm going to talk about essential oils, and then on Thursday I'll probably talk about the supplements, or maybe I'll switch it, whatever. But um, if you watched this and you like it, please let me know. If you have topics that you want me to add, um, comment below. You can send me a personal message. Um, so far, this is day two. I'm finding this to be really fun, but I want to make it as beneficial for you as possible. So let me know your questions. All right, guys, have a fantastic Tuesday.